Great here. Welcome to a new series. I've been hankering to play Crusader Kings 2. Of all of the Paradox games, uh, their, whoops, their grand strategy games, this is actually uh, one of my favorite. Um, this is a game where you play uh, a dynasty that goes through the ages. You, you, yes, you're in control of a part of a nation, but that's not the important part. The nation that you start out in could, could be lost um, uh, to a different branch of your dynasty. Uh, as long as your dynasty continues through the ages, that's the important part. It's it's kind of fun. It's more, it's kind of like a mix between strategy and, and role-playing, kind of, in a way. Anyway, I have got all of the DLC down here, except for one, which is right here. And that DLC is the one that allows the Aztecs to invade from across the Atlantic. I think you can understand why I don't have that one installed. So, what I'm going to do, uh, when I play this game, uh, you, you can pick any nation you want, you can pick a, a starting time. Generally what I do, I like starting very early, uh, at least lately I have been, and also what I do is I just uh, bounce on the random button to see who comes up. So, what I'm going to look for uh, is going to be uh, nothing bigger than a duchy, because I want to start off small and grow big. Um, I don't want to be a single county in a giant nation, so like a single county in the Byzantine Empire or in uh, Francia over here. Um, I Those are just really rough starts when you're just a county. So if I'm going to be in a giant nation, it has to be a duchy, but if I'm in... Say, I, I ran him into uh, Ireland over here. Notice how all of these are single counties. We can start off in, in, a, in an area with a bunch of single counties just fine. So let's see what we start off with. So the first one is uh, over in Tibet. Uh, okay, new rule. Nothing over in Tibet just yet, because this is all new area uh, that I'm not quite familiar with. In fact, I had a playthrough, I had uh, four episodes recorded, with this uh, right in here. Anyway, right in here I had, I had uh, four episodes recorded, and then the new expansion came out, and blew up this entire area. There he is. That's the guy that I had. Anyway, let's uh, bounce again. Uh, count. Let's see, where is he? He is... Not Malta. He's right here. He's part of the Byzantine Empire. Count. Nope. Let's see, Khan Batis of. Hmm. Let's see. Turkish Vassal of. Not sure about that story. Vassal of West Francia, County in Francia, yeah, not gonna happen. Uh, looks like a count. Count. Tibet again. Helder Wartooth. Let's see, he's got a couple of vassals. Ah, he's the king of this here. Hmm, no. Bad again. Where are you? Independent. Independent. And they have these two. Yeah, let's let's go for this. Let's go for uh rush. Rastra, Rastra Kuda? Rastra. Jeja? Can you tell? I don't know how to pronounce these names. 
Here we go. I'm just going to leave everything on except for, I think, where is it? Way of life, regencies, defensive action. Uh, there's, yeah, I'll just leave everything as basic. Now, there's a lot to the Paradox Grand Strategy games. They're very, uh, very deep. There's a lot of systems to go through, which means probably we're not going to unpause in this first video. Yeah, here it is. In Crusader Kings 2, you play a succession of medieval rules from a single dynasty. Dynasty, dynasty. I, yes, I flip between the two. Shut up. There's no set goal, but the world is filled with ambitious rivals. Secure more land to increase your power and protect your family. Um, you cannot control infinite lands, because you actually have to... It's There's a political pause to it. It's pausable. Let's just jump into it. Uh, let's see. Feudal government. Hinduism is not a single religion. Priests can marry. Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Hindu men can take up three concubines. And off we go. Okay. So, hey, there's my first okay at the video. Woohoo! So, we start off with these uh, these little flags at the top. Almost every Paradox game has this. These are basically alerts saying, hey, you really should uh, do these. Uh, or make these decisions. Notice that I am paused presently, so I don't have to worry about any of that. So, let's see. New important decisions available. Shut the gates for critical physician. Choose a patron deity, form the followers. Hmm. We'll come back to all of that. Let's go to the council. Okay. Everyone basically loves me for the time being, which is good. Uh, let's look at my guy married. I already have an heir, which is good. Usually that's the that's the first thing you want to take care of because, again, you're playing the dynasty. You're playing the lineage, not just the nation. You're playing the lineage, so you have to have an heir at all times. So, let's see. I have... Uh, what's this one? So I have... both of these titles, but it's... Uh, but I'm a count. Oh, I'm a double count. That's what this is. Can I actually make... Uh, a duchy out of this is the question. Let's see. Um, there we go. Duchy. So the duchy requires these four lands to form. Well, a majority of them, I should say. If I pick off one of these, but unfortunately, these two are part of this larger nation. Uh, probably not going to happen. Okay, so. First off, let's pick a focus. Let's pick, um, I do have a half-brother who's part of my dynasty. So, he does not have any land. So what I want to do is I want to get a lot of sons. I want a lot of heirs to start off. My ambition. My first ambition is going to be you have a whole bunch, become exalted among men, become king of the uh, Pratihara kingdom, uh, see the realm prosper, staying at peace for five years. Let's see. Gains one stewardship. His stewardship is. Eh. How old is his son? His son is a baby. Okay. So that means I want. Normally I go with groom and heir because you're always going to be trying to groom an heir, but he is not going to come of age until. Um. Let's see. I think it's like 16. So since he's 
just born, and this one fires off in five years. I just want to see the realm prosper. So, no wars for the first five years, which is fine. Hopefully, that will maintain. Uh, let's see. Special minor titles are grantable. Um, all of these are fine for the time being. Let's look at my wife, see what my wife has. Huh, a military wife. Nice. Too bad she can't lead armies. Okay, let's see. She's ambitious, which is good and bad. Gregarious. Okay. Ah, I'm up to three okays. That's not good. Well, we definitely want a uh, court physician. So let's get that out of the way. Do I not have a patron deity? It's religious and enemies 30%. Oh, I'm also a brilliant strategist. Okay. <laughs> but I'm craven. That does not help. And paranoid. Just patient. Uh, let's see. Seriously, what is, what is this patron deity thing? She's a patron. Ah, this, this lets me decide... Who, uh, what, uh, what I want to increase and what I want to. Well, my, uh, since I'm going for power right now, something that would lower martial but increase stewardship. Stewardship or dipl diplomacy. Martial one, stewardship plus one. There we go. And we're back to the minor traits. So we also need to assign our council. So not only do you have control over your guy, but you control everyone, you know, your, your court. So the chancellor, I, this, this, just this, giant area over here. It's controlled by this guy. And we can see he's got 2,000 uh, 2, troops to his name. What's that? Oh no, he's only got this portion. What the? So who's, who controls this whole area? I don't get it. No, 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 no. Let's try this again. So, yeah, he's going to try to grab um, Let's go back. Oh, let's turn off Dujur. There we go. So, yeah, he has this entire area and his kingdom also includes my two counties. So, chances are he's going to want to come after me pretty soon. Which is not good. This guy has 964 troops. For comparison, I have dun, 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 577. Yeah. So I need to make nice with people. As much as I would like to build a duchy here, I'm probably not going to be able to do that right away. So I'm going to take my chancellor. Um... I can only go in this area here. Hmm. What the? Uh, oops. Oh well. Didn't mean to do that. I won't be able to change it for six months. Okay, well. Marshal. Organize. Uh, commander approved, commander found, commander brawl. 
Troops, Revolts, Train Troops, Research Military Tech. I don't have any maintenance costs right now. Uh, no, let's just organize the army. Just what he was doing. Okay. Oh, these are just... Uh, okay, these are inside your, your lands, I guess. I'm used to actually having to place them. Let's see. Stuart will improve the... Increasing culture conversion chance of prosperity gain. Court taxes. Normally I like to court taxes, but... Yeah, let's do it. In our capital. Our spy master. Ooh. Spy master only of seven. Ugh. Sabotage province with spy network. Study technology. Can we reach over to... No, we can't. We can reach out to here. Uh, let's see. What is... I'm at 3, 4, and 12. 3, 7, 3, 7. Ah, seven military advances. So that's where I want to go, but I do not want to go into his capital. Three, three. Oh, looks like that's where I want to go with my spy master. I generally don't like to go inside uh, the capital, uh, presuming that that they're going to be looking for spies there. I don't know if that's a thing, but. And last but not least, our holy man. Hunt apostates, monthly piety, uh, proselytize, cultural tech. Uh, I guess. I guess hunt apostates is good enough for now. Uh, to explain, Hunt Apostates. Notice how it says monthly piety plus 0 0.5 monthly. So, in Crusader Kings 2, you have three... There, there's a bunch of counters up here, but three that really matter. The first one is wealth, second one's prestige, third one is karma. Does this mean this is, this is piety, but I guess it's karma? I'm not sure. So these three actually go into your score. Anytime that your leader dies, these three are totaled up, added to your score. And so that, that provides a way that you could compare different empires, uh, different uh, dynasties to each other on different runs. You can see how well you did based off of how much wealth, prestige, and piety, or in this case karma, that you, uh, you brought up. Let's look at our... Uh, don't have enough money for a fort. Can we build anything? No. We need 30 gold for that. I wonder... Ah. Uh, ah, uh, the... The new expansion. Receive news, open map mode, view history, spawn religion, dislikes Dravidian culture. So, I'm not going to do anything with this yet because I... Although I'm fairly close, China is mostly up here, just north of Tibet, and I'm down here, but we'll worry about that in a bit. I just want to look at where's trade zones. So this is the Silk Road. It all starts with these two points here, and then goes all the way across to here. Anything along, uh, any province along these routes uh, can build trade nodes and gain money <laughs> inside that empire. Uh, lovely. I could go north and 
unfortunately, I think North is controlled by Yeah, that's a pretty large part. I'm like squished in between everyone here. This is going to be a fun start. Oh, court physician or designated great regent. Uh, let us... I'm going to designate... Where is she? My wife doesn't really like me, but she's a brilliant strategist. And she's ambitious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her my regent. And what that does is now she likes me a little bit. If I die and my son isn't of age, then she controls the, the nation. As a result of being the regent, she gets... Uh, Plus 10 opinion of me, monthly salary of 0 0.05 gold, and 0 0.75 monthly prestige. So the rest of these are just basically honorary titles, uh, and I'm not going to... Ah, court tutor, I did not know that was a thing. Interesting. Most of these, actually, are just honorary titles. They have some story significance. But usually, you leave them blank until you need to hand them out to people who don't like you, that you need to like you, or uh, there's other possibilities. Anyway, I think that this is a good first step. Yes, we have it unpaused, but... That's how Paradox games are. You spend the first 20, 25 minutes going, what am I going to do? So, uh, one last thing I want to check. Culture. Hindustani, Hindu, and Jain. He is... I did not notice that. Okay. So we have a bit of a religion religion conflict here in our county. Well, we will have to deal with that next time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have fun.